So we're back up here for the evening hunt, man. After a long day of disappointment, looking for that deer. Here she was, stuck, passed through all the way on the ground, just absolutely saturated in blood. So we're gonna have to chalk this one up to a loss. Just gotta be patient. I gotta learn to wait better. Maybe if I had waited on that deer, I'd have gotten, I don't know, I thought I got a good shot. Pretty sure I missed it that, but. But I'm back out here. We're up in a tree, gonna wait for dark. See if anything comes by. I'll let you know. Dick tip. Make sure you bring a call in with you to your stand or blind so that you can call the deer when you see them. It's a little early in the season to be using calls or scents or anything, but they were all responding really well to the buck grunt this morning, so I'm gonna grunt loud a couple times here and there and see if they can't get somebody curious. Well, the sun's really out. Still haven't seen anything. But who knows? Starting to hear deer move around back behind that thicket. They'll come out down here and take the run through in front of me. So I might get another shot. just got a deer. So, I think I need to come down and go help my dad. Since he came down and helped me this morning, uh, I'm gonna go find his deer. It's always tomorrow morning. I'll get one then. So them's how deer camps work, man. You know, we help each other out. The entire camp helped me track down my deer that I didn't find this morning. So now, even though I've only been in the stand for about an hour, I came down to go help my dad find his deer so that everyone else can get some hunting time in. I'm gonna go meet up with my dad at his stand and attempt to track his deer before it gets too dark. Even though they probably just called me to drag it out. Well, they found it without my help and dad got the ATV to drag it out. But I'm already down and walking that way, so uh, let's go see the deer, hey? Haven't seen one of those in a while. Well, there's his field, there's his tree. Here's his path. We're gonna go down to the corner and see if we can find him. Ah, uh, yes, the classic toilet paper markers for the blood trail. Blood trails are super nice. There we go. Dad got himself a doe. Look at that. Is that your first archery deer? Yes, in 43 years. 43 years of archery hunting, that's his first archery deer. Proud of you. Now I'm going to gut it with a knife I made. Oh, cool. Uh, we're saving that for the conservative cut of this video. I'm doing a liberal and a conservative cut. Okay. The liberal cut's gonna cut right here and then go to us back in cabin having a good dinner. Uh, the conservative cut, <laughs> well, you can imagine. Yeah. So, to this. So for the un uninitiated, that's called a butt out, for obvious reasons. You have to remove the anus of the deer before anything. Oh, and you made that knife, eh? Yeah. I like it. Is it sharp? Oh, is that one of those file knives? Yep. Nice. And that's where the butt out goes when you're done with it. She's fat. Huh? She's fat. Yeah.
And this is the shot we get kicked off YouTube for. <laughs> So, no, not really. So generally, the idea of field dressing an animal is that you're just taking all the internals and getting them external, because that's where rot comes from. You rot from your guts out as the bacteria in your stomach slowly consumes you. Want help? I need you to hold that leg. Okay. And there she is. The, the dough all gotten back to camp. Here we are at camp. Dad's going to go inside and clean some blood off himself. I, I have a little bit to clean off myself. And uh, I think the plan, I think the plan is to pack her with ice so that she doesn't go bad overnight. Oh yeah, Kara, come see the deer. What's this? What is it? Oh, she's pointing. Maybe she's a deer dog. She's not a squirrel dog. Okay, now I'm going to make sure that Dick knows what's up and make sure he's coming down and out of the tree. Uh, it was a good night. I'm glad my dad got a deer. If I couldn't get a deer today, I'm glad my dad did. Dick's just uh, making sure he's going to get it done when he gets a chance finally. Tomorrow's the day. Yep, he's going to go sit in my dad's tree since my dad's seen deer. Kara's having a good time outside. Dad and John are inside. Just relaxing. Dad's sharpening knives. John's reading a book. And Dick's just being ever the professional archer. Practice, practice, practice. How do you feel about this season? I'm feeling a lot more confident this year than I was last year. And a lot warmer and a lot fuller. I know. It's almost like we're sleeping indoors and eating food instead of protein bars. Yes. Hot meals. In fact, I totally forgot until you said fuller that all we ate last year was protein bars the entire season. It was, oh, well. It was doable, but this is... A lot more enjoyable. Agreed. So we're just in for the night, you know, just hanging out, reading books, shooting bows. Uh, we're gonna get ready for bed and go tonight. Go. <laughs> good. We're gonna get ready for bed and go to bed. Uh, see if we can get it tomorrow, done tomorrow morning. Night, guys. Morning, guys. Dick and I are just. Heading out to the field bright and early, a little earlier than yesterday. Gonna go stick us a spiky boy, eh? Yeah. Hopefully Drew sees uh, a couple more big guys up there. And then I'll be over where Drew's dad shot his doe yesterday. So hopefully its friend comes back and lets me shoot it. Yeah. Good hunting, boys. <sighs> okay, I'll set up in the tree. It's finally starting to get light. If yesterday was textbook how to not do it, today is definitely much better. Made a lot less mistakes today. Let's hope I can capitalize on that. It's finally bright enough to shoot. It's turning into a beautiful morning. It's kind of muggy. It's actually cooling off a little. It was warm when we got out. I'm hoping the clouds open up give us a chance at one of those bucks from yesterday, man. So, I think it's that time. I haven't seen anything, just squirrels. The wind's picking up. And we gotta get home, so... Uh, I'm gonna come down from the tree. Just taking a walk around. Not looking for deer, just looking for... the deer I got yesterday and couldn't find. This is just tearing me up. Honestly, a day today where I see no deer feels better than a day when I shank a deer and can't find it. But there was a strong rain last night. We didn't find any blood after the arrow anyway. So I'd be looking for a body, a rotted body at this point, and I can't find anything. I'm just going to go meet up with Dick and head back to camp. Dick tip, make sure you got a battery jumper in your car in case things don't work out in the field. Yeah, so that's the end of deer, deer camp for right now. Yep, spent the weekend. Saw a few bucks, few doe, but didn't get any good shots. Uh, and I clearly got a bad shot. You had a bad shot. Uh, but you know, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Click subscribe down there somewhere. Uh, thanks for watching. This is MI Adventure Life. Goodbye.